Hey folks. So I really enjoy watching Iron Man the movie for two reasons. The first, well, you know, I'm a guy, mid-twenties, explosions, you get the picture. The second reason is that it really puts me in a mood to build stuff. Um, about half of my projects can probably be traced back to a, sp a specific instance of me watching Iron Man. Uh, so I figured with Halloween coming up, I'd get a bit meta and actually uh, build uh, an arc reactor uh, and go around as Tony Stark. Now, I figured I'd show you guys, maybe it'd inspire some of you to build your own. Uh, so here it is. Let me refocus. Here we go. And uh, here's the control panel I built for it. And uh, I guess I'll start off with a little demo and then I'll get into how it was actually built. Uh, so it has three controls. Uh, this one starts it. This one selects the amount of power, quotes. Of course, these are all theatrical controls. It's not actually an arc reactor for that uh, inevitable YouTube user that thinks I'm actually building something that, you know, works. So this one controls the power, and this one controls the stabilizing coils. I felt like adding something like that. So right now it's being powered by USB, and it has this big honking flat ribbon cable uh, providing power to all the lights. So I'll plug that in. And let me cut the lights. Alright. So right now it's blinking, telling me that it's the coils are off. So I'm going to flip that. It becomes green. And then I can hit the button. Let me move this close. Turn up the power. Hit the button. And it starts up uh, in here I can adjust the power, you know, turn it down, starts flickering a bit, turn it back up, that kind of stuff. If you turn it too low, you have to hit this thing to get it started again. And I can flip this switch here and it goes into overloading mode because it's shiny. Turn this back on, start it back up, and here you go. Now, um, I decided to spend as little as possible on this project uh, because I'm into that kind of thing, salvage as much as possible. Uh, so I guess I'll start with the actual base. So this thing is actually a hard disk platter. Um, chose it because it's round, they look kind of cool. You can see kind of these uh, light bars going in because of the cylinders. And uh, it was easy to build off of because it had a nice little hard to see, but nice little centerpiece to attach everything to. Uh, this case is actually the outer case of the hard disk that these platters came off of. Uh, this switch was salvaged, this knob and everything else was salvaged. I had to buy this because I broke the one I originally put it in. Uh, let's see. Uh, the actual outer ring here was a piece of acrylic I actually had to buy, so that's not salvaged. It cost me three bucks. Um, let's see. So these coils are actually... They used to be part of the uh, magnet that moved the head around on the disc. And, you know, various other bits. Interestingly, these little supports are the heads of the uh, of some laser pointers that I salvaged random things like that. Um, so inside here, there's actually an Arduino instant blog cred uh, that controls all the lights. And if people are interested, I can make a video explaining how the system actually works uh, to produce things like, you know, the flicker that you see at lower uh, brightnesses and things like that. Uh, but it's kind of outside of the scope of this video because it's probably really boring to people. So anyway, that's uh, my arc reactor. It's pretty cool. And I think I'm going to play with it way too much and get no work done. But, you know. Well, I figured I'd show you guys a nice shot of it working uh, in the dark because it looks much cooler that way. Enjoy.